My name is Nathan Comarsh. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I'm an entertainer and have been for all my life. Both my parents are artists, so I grew up in a house where you really felt like anything was possible. I got my start doing magic in a small local comedy club, bunch of drunk people, and learning to perform in that environment made me able to, to go in front of really any group anywhere. The most important element is sitting right where my audience would be and trying to give them what I would want if, if I was sitting there. The power of magic is that when it's done well, it gives people such an experience that they're not used to, that that mask that we tend to wear just kind of falls away for just a second, and we're really able to connect with people. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nathan Comar. such a thrill to be here on Fool Us, where the most famous magicians you've never heard of leave the safety of our parents' basements for an epic showdown on TV. In other words, this is the Hunger Games for 32-year-old virgins. And ladies, just so you know, I'm 33. We live in an amazing time. I can get the answer to almost any question by reaching my pocket, giving my phone a couple taps, but imagine technology's next step. I want something, it just appears. Tonight, you're gonna to be the first people to experience this. You're gonna think of something. My challenge is to make whatever it is you can imagine, bearing in mind it's a family show, real. But it must fit inside this glass jar. Uh, Penn, tell her, uh, if you would just kind of take a moment, make sure there's no way in. I'll leave it with you for a few moments. Make sure there's no way in or out of the jar except through the top. Open it? Uh, yes, please, absolutely. Uh, by all means, yeah, make sure there's nothing in the jar but the faint aroma of the Las Vegas Strip. And uh, as we're doing that, I should emphasize, no one here is in on this. Nothing's been set up. So that you guys know that we're going to make the process so random, it's completely out of my control. Each of you has a card and a pencil. I'd like you to think of something that could fit inside our jar. This could be a grape, a flower, Danny DeVito. If it's <laughs> small enough to fit inside our jar, that'll work for our purposes. And uh, as they're doing that, uh, Allison, perhaps you would join me for a moment? Awesome. So we have uh, many hundreds of possibilities, Allison, uh, but we're only going to need like 20 or 30. So I'd like you to uh, take this plate and uh, please uh, go out amongst the people, uh, get like 20 or 30 of those back, and uh, I'll ask you back on stage in just a moment. All right. And uh, as she's doing that, uh, Penn, tell her, how is our uh, jar looking? It looks great and it looks, smells, smells like, good. Yeah. It smells like root beer barrels. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. That's, that's desperation you're smelling there, the <laughs> fragrance of Las Vegas. And uh, this is our target, so whatever you guys dream up, will make itself inside this space. I uh, won't even touch it. In fact, we're going to leave it isolated uh, in a series of boxes about 10 feet off the ground. So we got a jar inside a box, inside a box, just about 17 feet above the earth. And uh, it looks like Allison's got a fair number. And Allison, perhaps you join me. The people will show their love for you. Aw. It's, it's good to see you. And I was, yeah, please, yeah, just set it down and, and step back into my office. So we have, uh, we have hundreds of possibilities. Uh, no, you can, you can join, you can stay. You can, can she stay, guys? She gets to stay, she gets to stay. Uh, as uh, random as we can be, and in fact, Allison, uh, yeah, and let's step into the light, shall we? And uh, uh, so if you would just kind of turn your head and reach inside and, and grab one for us, Allison, and, and hold it tightly against yourself. Just uh, keep that card very nice and warm. And, and as she's doing that, let's see, uh, uh, let's see what might have been, because we have a few, uh, few different possibilities here. Uh, so we have uh, dice, we have a dollar bill, uh, not terribly ambitious, Yahoo! I'm not sure what that means, but uh, Penn Teller, uh, I'd like you guys to hold on to this as well so you make sure there, there are many different possibilities. Because sure, uh, had her fingers moved just a little bit differently, Allison would be holding on to a different card. And whatever Allison's holding on to, I have to make it real. In a jar, 25 feet. <laughs> and Allison, for the first time, what is our, what is our object? Shall we, sure. shall we take a look? On to a golf ball. And uh, now for a meaningless, dramatic gesture. Woo. It gets better, guys. It gets better. It gets better. Uh, Allison. Yeah, hold it, hold it up. Show it, show it. 
to the people. Show it to the people for us, Allison. In fact, if you would, if you would be so kind, I uh, just kind of just kind of take the lid off and drop the uh, drop the ball straight into my hand, Allison. Just kind of drop that. Yeah, just kind of drop that straight. Hey. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Here, take a finger. Give it. A, give it a tickle, Allison. Give it a tickle. <laughs> a tickle. It's a, mm. it's, a, it's a real. It's a real solid golf ball, yes. Allison. Yes. And it's a real. It's a real solid glass jar. No way in or out of the jar except through the top. But the ball doesn't fit through the top. So the only way this could happen is if that ball came into existence inside the jar. Uh, we have a, a gift for you, gentlemen, as well. Thank you so much. That is amazing, Nathan. Go march, everybody. That is really amazing. I just want to go, no. <laughs> All right, well, gentlemen, stop playing with your balls. <laughs> uh, okay, wow. Okay, there's a... Uh, we don't believe in the supernatural. We do not believe in the supernatural. We are known for not believing the supernatural. But I think there was some work of the devil here. I do think there we was are, some work uh, of the devil. We are acquainted. We are. Yes. yes. There is some work of the devil. You may have borrowed, actually, a, a shirt or a tie or a handkerchief from the devil, as a matter yes, of fact. Yes, absolutely. In order to be able absolutely. to do that. Now, I was very interested in the growing uh, height of that pole. Yes. You started out saying it was 10 feet high. Yes. Then it was 17 feet. And yes. then it was 25 feet. And yet, it seemed to me to be getting lower instead of higher. Because to put that in there, you needed the chair. But to get it out, you just reached up because I think part of the pole fell in a little bit to Harbin's ditch. There was a yep. little bit of a depression yep. there that yep. fell in there that you needed the chair to get up, but not to get it down. So I, uh, I think uh, yeah. it was all the work of the devil. Uh, uh, it was, 100%. That there. 100%. And the golf yeah. ball in the jar, <laughs> I sure hope you could buy these things. We don't know how you did that. <laughs> A secret to that, but you guys got so much of it that we're Okay, we're, thank you. Yes, thank so you we're, we're, agree that they yes, know yes, everything yes, there is to know. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Nathan Colmarsh. Everyone, thank you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.